It doesn't matter what I look like that you think me boy or girl. It doesn't matter if my hair is short or long and holds a curl. It doesn't matter if I feel as if nature got my body wrong. Because I see the world from eyes that sing a different song. Why does myself offend you? Why can't I wear a dress? Why are adults so scared to know all the ways that I am blessed? At one I sighed to say what at two I could read out. At three I dressed in mummy's heels and danced myself about. At four I asked to be a girl. At five my, my teachers started to hate. At six we moved to feel more safe and I'm stronger now I'm eight. But bullies come from all backgrounds, all kinds of occupations. They judge me weird and silence me. I become a bad relation. But what if they are incorrect and there is no boy or girl? What if the only deviation is how we see the world? When I was like in my late threes, I asked that they, I said that I am truly a girl. My name is Charlie Logan Rickert and I'm 10 years old. It all started when I was younger and I started expressing myself as a girl. I didn't just feel like a girl and I didn't just act like a girl because I was a girl. At school, one of the teachers told me that my mom was stupid and that I was confused. I didn't realize that just because my parents were fine with it, I didn't realize that everybody else might not be. Why does it matter so much what is in our underwear compared to what is in our compared to what is in our heart and mind? But transgender kids face um, being physically or met or they p face things like cyberbullying, being physically and mentally hurt, feeling s down, sometimes even suicidal because of what's happened to them. And my friend Werner. She once had these people on the bus who tried to tear, tear off her clothes. Transgender people, well, people, transgender people in general face a lot of bullying and discrimination. Um, Bill C-16 might actually change that. Sexual orientation and gender identity are two different things. Because gender identity is who you feel you are and not who you will love. Sexual orientation is who you might marry and have kids with. I bet that when I do go into a workplace, Bill C-16 will be passed. I hope the future holds a safe place with harmony and, equal and equality and fairness without fear of judgment and rebuke and discrimination. I see in all of nature a great diversity. If God loves all our features, then why can't I be me? You must be what I need today. I want to raise alarm. I need more superheroes to rescue kids from harm. Please tell your friends and neighbors, you know, someone just like me, that despite my gender questioning, I'm as normal as can be. This child is not an, enemy, not an enemy, no matter which bathroom I choose. If you can't begin to understand me, then both of us will lose. The right to be just who we are without judgment or rebuke, and live the life we feel is right with dignity and truth. <laughs>